Good afternoon. We're here on behalf of NYC Live and Runway News and behalf of William Michael Reed, the producer of this event. And we're honored to have a very, very special model. Why we say special? It's Kiana. Look at her, she's special. Kiana, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, how long have you been in the business? Well, I kind of just started recently because I've been wanting to do this since I was like 10, but I just basically started getting started with this recently in Fashion Week in February. So this is pretty much just like my second show and like I'm just getting started pretty young. Okay, so it's your second show. She said she got started when she was 10, 10 years old? I wanted to do it since I was 10. 10 years old. I wasn't really ready until like now. Now, so let me ask you about today. How did the event go today? What today was special for you looking at the event today? Um, I think that the event today was special just because the designers got to focus individually on everyone since there was only like, what, seven models. Like everybody got to walk, everybody got special attention, photographers took pictures of everybody. So I just think it was like kind of like an equal opportunity for everybody and just everyone got attention and it was nice because so what attention did you get that you appreciated that you normally don't get in a normal fashion show that you got today in this uh, COVID-19 event, per se? Well, I, how many photographers were there? It's about, it's about I think, six or seven. Yeah. I, I might be eight photographers, so right? So the photographers would rotate between every person. So I got to take multiple different styles of pictures with, depending on what the photographer liked. So, like, it was just, I, I got attention from seven different photographers, seven different times, from multiple different outfits, multiple different places in the backyard. So I just think everybody got a fair, equal amount of attention and, you know, opportunity. Nice. Why did you want to be in the fashion business? What, what is it that attracted you to want to be a model? Well, ever since I was little, I used to watch the Victoria's Secret fashion shows every year. Mm -hmm. And I would see like Gigi Hadid and Kendall Jenner mm -hmm. and like Adriana Lima and all those models walking. And I was just like, I'm going to do that one day. Like, I'm going to be one of them. So ever since then, I was just like, that's the only thing I wanted to do ever. Nice. The only so thing I've like been determined to do. Nice. So those are big names. Yeah. Do you see yourself being there? I mean, ideally, that would be what I want, but the only thing I could do is work for it, so I hope so. Well, you heard her say that. She hopes so, and my thing is today, if you hope for something and you strive to be there, Kiana could be there in those big names you heard. But more importantly, today, with real Michael Reed, he put his event together. What did you appreciate today, beyond the photography, just on for as being a model being here today with the COVID situation that's going on? Well, I think that this was the best we could do for COVID because like it was a small group. Everybody got to walk, everybody got outfits. We got to relax by the pool. It was like fun too. It wasn't just work, work, work. It was fun. We got to relax, eat, go by the pool, talk, make more relationships with people. So I, I appreciated that also. It was like also a fun, relaxing environment where you could make friends and relationships rather than just a work, work, work rush, 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 like how I did Fashion Week in February. It was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was just like a lot of like work, like let's go, like fast, like fast paced, like you know what I mean? That's good, that's like good. It was more like a relaxed environment. That's good. Why, why did you, I know you said you want it always when you're younger, but looking forward, why do you want to be a model going forward in the future? Like what do you think you're going to bring into the industry that's different from anybody else that's modeling going forward? Um. I don't know, I just I just love it so much and like it's just what I love to do. And I think that it's important to have various different looks of people and I think I definitely have a more of like an exotic look. So I think that that's what I could bring to the table. Like I'm, a, I'm an exotic looking person. It's good to have very much like variation between your models, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like today we had a very good variation of models. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And it yeah. brought a lot of things like you could show how different models look in different outfits. Like, I thought I was tall growing up, but meeting these models, I'm not that tall. <laughs> Ikea's kind of tall, right? Ikea she's six foot tall. So tall, <laughs> I'm envious for her. She's so tall. 
But yeah. And she had heels on. And she had and heels, heels on. on. And Everybody's like, her. wow, she's tall. I was sitting next to her barefoot and she had heels on. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But it's, you hear this audience, right? She got exposed to seeing a model is a model, no matter how tall, how small, how big, how wide, how small. Even if you have acne, whatever. Modeling is different today. That's what 2020 is all about. And Kiana talked about that. And she mentioned she's exotic. And she does. She looks exotic, right? Um, more importantly, though, um, beyond all this is where do you see with COVID now going forward for yourself how it's going to go for modeling in the next year or year and a half? Well, here's the thing. When I started modeling, in the first show I did was in February this year, so right before Corona in March. I was like, you know what, like, I'll just do a show here or there, and, like, I'll just take whatever comes to me, like, whatever. COVID kind of made me realize that, like, you have to just, like, take everything you get and, like, because life is short. Like, I did not know we were going to be on lockdown for four months. Like, that really, like, we got nothing. I didn't get to go anywhere. I couldn't do any photo shoots. Yeah. Couldn't go to any shows or anything. No opportunities. So I was like, okay, when I get out of this, I'm really going to hustle. I'm, like, really going to make things happen because mm -hmm. I had four months of nothing. And, like, my attitude before was just, like, okay, I'm going to do whatever, like, whatever time. Like, but now I'm really going to, going forward, I hope that I'm in the right direction now. I could move forward. Yeah, that's a good answer for that because, like we said, we don't know what's going to happen going forward in the fashion business as we talked already all day today. I don't know. These interviews go, so you might have seen this earlier or later, but just saying is, we don't know where it's going forward, and Kiana expressed like, hey, you got to do what you need to do going forward. So, for yourself, um, where do you see yourself um, going forward after COVID in this business? And you mentioned you feel you're exotic, and there's people that in other countries feel the same way. I'm exotic. I look different than what's the normal thing. What can you say to people that feel exotic and be in the business and where they can go forward, you think? Honestly, I don't even think it matters. Like, they want every variation of person. You could think that you're too short, or you could think that you have acne or whatever, but really just, if you want to go for it, go for it. Like, I'm pretty busty, and like, usually that's like, oh, like, you're supposed to be like skinny, twig, like, whatever. I kind of am not like the average, like, twig, like, little skinny, like, whatever. And like I still wanted to do it, so I still try to pursue it. And I just think that anybody who wants to do it, no matter what you think of yourself, you should just go for it. Go for it, no matter what. That's nice. So you heard her. She said she's busty. She's at the normal twig. Think about it. It's 2020. You can be what you want to be in the modeling business if you create your space. Create your space. And so, first of all, any makeup artists, designers, all of them, if they want to reach out to you. What is your platform for social media or whatever your platform is? Okay, my Instagram is at Kiana, K-I-A-N-A-X-V-I-I -I -I on Instagram. And that's pretty much like my biggest social media platform. Like I don't really, that's the way you could reach me if you want to. That's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're the first person to have, she's the first person to have one platform. And sometimes well, that sometimes that's good. Want to reach me? Like, yeah, that's you know like, what sometimes is good. That's where my modeling pictures are. That's where everything is. So you know, sometimes and this is it's actually true. Sometimes you have too many platforms. Mm -hmm. It's too spread out. If you have one platform and you're good, like Kiana, who's exotic, everybody goes there. If you have too many platforms, <laughs> it might be watered out. I'm not saying that's the case, but <laughs> she has one platform. You heard it right here. Anything you want to say for anybody inspiring to come into the business as you are right now? If you want to do it, just do it. Don't have any doubts. Don't be like, oh, I can't. I might be too this, too that. Don't ever compare yourself to other people. If you want to do it, just do it. Don't listen to anybody else. Just do it. Hey, that's the words of an exotic model. I see from her <laughs> words, exotic model from the Fitzgeralds in Long Island and NYC Live and Runway News. Thank you and enjoy yourself and shout her out.